If you're like me, you've always wondered why there hasn't been a weedless option for trebles in the musky world. Well, wonder no more. Here I have in my hand some weedless trebles from Andrew Muntz from Muntz Angling. And we run into Andrew at the Minnesota Musky Show last spring. And here's a set of them on a Conklin glitch. He was kind enough to set us up for the summer with an assortment of sizes. So in full disclosure, he gave us these to try. And we run them on a bunch of different baits. Here's a set on a shallow Shadzilla. You guys are going to see all these in the attached video. And here's a set on a Bondi Royal Orba that's missing its tail because it got ate by a pike, of all things, on the weekend. This is the only one that actually has some damage to the wire. That wire actually got damaged a little bit in the battle with the fish. And here's one that I run pretty much all summer on one of my old skull print Dadsons. Hard to see on a bucktail, but this one's actually caught a few fish. And over the course of the winter, you'll probably see some of the catches that were on this one. But the big thing here is Andrew makes just a ton of sizes from, I believe, 2 aught all the way up to 10 aught on his website. They're all hand-built. Each one's made one at a time. It's not mass-engineered or mass-manufactured. He does every single one. And let's look at a couple of these underwater so you get a feel for it. And we'll come back, and I'll give you my thoughts after a summer of running them. Well, that gives you guys an idea how they look underwater. We tried to do some video where we pulled these through weeds, but to get into the weeds enough so that we're showing the actual hook in the weeds, it's very hard to get any kind of footage. So for sake of clarity, it just wasn't worth including, but we did try to do that for you guys. But I think you get the idea just on the underwater shots, how, you know, on a Shadzilla, it doesn't affect the action at all. Um, on the Conklin Glitch, doesn't affect it at all. You can run this in and around weeds a lot more effectively. Obviously, the lure is going to get into the weeds, but you're not going to get snagged up near as easily on the weeds. Where we really liked it over the course of a summer was on a bucktail. Obviously, you can't throw a big bucktail in heavy weeds, but if you want to hit those edges or find those paths through the weeds... Almost certainly you can get this through and you're not going to have to worry about getting hooked up on the hook. You're going to get wrapped up in the blades before the hook. So I liked it on bucktails, on smaller fluted eights like you've seen in the video. I actually liked it better because that's just a smaller profile lure going through the water. And one thing that we got talking about after the fact is I would have liked to have tried these on some of the bigger spinner baits that have trebles because spinner baits are inherently weedless going through the weeds or they'll run really good. But we just didn't actually try one on a spinner bait. So I may put one on for the fall season. I really liked it on glide baits. And this one ran just effortlessly. I tried it on a couple other glide baits. Uh, one by Wicked Deadly Outdoors, but I just found that on this glitch, I was able to get this one in and around weeds a lot, and I really liked it on that hard glide bait or a jerk bait. I did try it on my lucky Silver Jailbird Suic, and I tried to work that around weeds, but of course with a Suic, if you get down in the weeds, it just doesn't matter what you have on your hooks, you're getting you know the nose of it hooked up. And another one I really liked was on the Shadzilla shallow swimming dog we like to use these around weed edges and this with the addition of the magnets in here which i think on any shallow style swimming dog shadzilla poseidon 
you want to have those magnets keep those hooks up that's as weedless design as you're going to get in a swim bait so i really liked it on that and i really liked it on a bondi royal orba obviously the front of a royal orba just pounds into the weed so it's not the greatest option and heavy weed cover but when you're in around those edges or trying to drive through those pass in the weeds this just give us another option and we had a little bit more confidence going into the weeds with these hooks on it <clears throat> okay what didn't we like i found on the smaller sizes that the wires are definitely softer than on the bigger size trebles. These ones are definitely more spring loaded and they don't seem to pop off as easy on these smaller ones with the smaller wire and not an, as much tension on them. They tend to pop off easier. So again, it, it's one of those things you don't want to run it on every single lure that you have, but if you're going to run it on a couple and use them situationally, they're a great option. Just know that, you know, every fourth, fifth, sixth cast, you're going to want to check the wires and make sure that they are still in place and andrew has a great video where he talks about these and how to run those wires i'll put a link in the description below that's kind of the one negative is that we did find on some of the smaller ones the wires come off and i did find that when you got into heavier weeds and the weeds were to get in there it has a tendency to just bend these wires out of shape we were able to straighten pretty much all of them out that's a small thing they certainly work. You're going to have a few issues. And this is really the only one that got totally damaged. And again, that's by catching a fish. So I, I think that's a fair trade-off. It wasn't a muskie in this case. But uh, probably the best application for us was on the smaller bucktails. Really liked it there. They didn't affect the lure at all. And I really liked it on... Like I said, the glide baits and the jerk style baits. I did run one on the dipstick for part of the year, but the dipstick's just not something that I use in heavy weed cover. And again, put it on a Shadzilla, Swimming Dog, or Poseidon with the magnets. And I think that might be one of the best applications of these hooks. So I just want to thank Andrew for setting us up with some of these weedless trebles for the summer we absolutely used them on a handful of baits we really liked them caught some fish on them and i think that there's a definite need in everybody's arsenal to try something like this they are a little bit pricey per hook but andrew's making them all one at a time i think it's well worth it and again it's not something that you're going to put on every single lure that you have but they're definitely worth trying. And if you were to get, you know, a half, half a dozen or a handful and try them on some of your key lures that you like to use around weeds like we do, I think you guys will have great success with them. Appreciate you guys watching for another video where we talk about catching some muskies down in the weeds on a Dadson blade bait. Check out the link right here. And until next time, 54 Bust is out of here and we'll catch you guys out on the water later.